Welcome to Solid Camp Professor. I'm Sydney, your Solid Camp Professor, and in this lesson, we'll be going through all the options of face milling. What I'd like to do in this part is to do a face mill over the top of this part. Now, my excess material on top of this part is one millimeter. So I'll start off my operation by choosing Add Operation and choosing the option of Face Milling. Now, the first thing I must do as in every job, every operation that I have, is to choose my uh, coordinate system. In this case, we only have one. And to create my geometry. Now, when I create my geometry in Face Milling, we have several options as to how to create our geometry. Now, the geometry in itself has to be a boundary around the area that has to be uh, face milled. So if I want to take the entire part, say the entire model, since I've created a target in the very beginning, I can simply go and have the model checked off as shown here and choose target. The moment I do that, you'll see that there is a border that's around the entire part of my uh, target itself. And that's my actual boundary that I want to work on. Other options I may have here is I can choose individual faces. Say I can choose, I only want to work on this face, for example. If I just do define and then simply click on the face then I'll be doing a geometry a, on just on that face itself. If I were to choose this face as well, I can do both those faces. And that's the area I want to be able to machine. But in this case, we would like to use the entire model. So I'll go back to model and then just simply load my target and I'll get my boundary automatically. And then simply click on OK. Now, the next thing I must do is choose my tool. The tool that I will be using will be a one 100 millimeter face mill. Now, you can see that we have complete control of our diameter. And if this was an angle, we can actually put in what angle that, uh, that face mill is at the bottom. Also, giving us a different tip diameter over here. Don't forget we also have at always our default tool data that has to be put into our tool information. The next thing we have is our levels. Now in our levels we have our upper level. In this particular case I will, ch I will put one millimeter because that's the excess material that I have on top of the part and my face depth I'll simply click on the button and click on the part itself to get the exact depth. And you'll note that the value of one is put in here automatically, showing that I have one millimeter to take off the face itself. My step down, I'll also leave that at one millimeter. Now we'll work into our technology. Now in our technology, several options as to how to machine the top of this part itself. We can choose the option of hatch where if the tool was not big enough to cover the entire part the tool will go back and forth over the part we also have the option of contour where the part would tool come in and then clean the face in a contour fashion always making sure that the edges are also machined as well but in our case our tool is big enough to cover the entire face so we have another option here called one pass. One pass will automatically create a tool path down the middle of my boundaries around the part. Now in our data area for one pass we have complete control of how much do we want the tool to go past the border itself. In this particular case we have it set at 110 percent of the tool diameter. I can put it in as a percentage or an actual value of the tool. Now, as we go down, we have another option here called offset. If I want, I can leave material 
for a finished cut. So I can leave an offset of, say, 0.2 millimeters. And if I want, I can also click on finish. That way, when it does the floor offset of 0.2, it'll come back and also do a finish cut. I can simply do at this point save and calculate. But let's take one more look also at our link. At our link, we also have control of lead in and lead out. And when we're using the option of one pass, the only lead in and lead out we have is tangent. In this particular case, I don't have to use it because my data area is allowing for that excess material through the extension. So I do not have to use my tangent as my link. I'll simply do now save and calculate and if we take a look at our simulation and I'll use the option of solve verify simulation the tool will go down I'll do this one step at a time tool will go down work away across the part work its way back up work its way down again to finish off now at zero and work its way across the piece finishing that entire surface. Thank you for joining us on SolidCamp Professor. Take care and have a nice day.